This is a black faces void. Again, we talked about it in the first draft. I neglected to bring it up here. Uh, void very solid against the Troll Warlord. It's kind of useless until you hit level 3. Which is why I, I wonder why he went the Stout Shield over the Boots. I think Boots are a little bit easier to make things happen when you don't have any options. He did pick up an, uh, an Invis rune, but they spotted out. Quirkfoot knows that this is happening, and it's not like level 1 Axis will be able to do that much damage. They're oh, going to rotate in a Sitter Tormentor. Actually, Koifa is maybe dead here. They go back behind the tower. The cast Sumail taking tower damage. He'll fall in exchange. Way too does get the kill on Sumail. But still, the first blood, the experience, all of that going to Sumail on the Zeus. And then PPD takes up the farm mid. Unfortunately, there isn't a creep wave from bottom from Team Tinker. They want to put pressure on Fear. Fear is alone for now. Are there TPs on the side of EG? They have one, and that's the universe. Fear might be in some trouble here. They have absolutely no idea that this gank is coming way too, or rather Pilot Eyes walking right underneath the tower. They're all walking under the tower. They get the hex off. Fear is going to get our spike in. The race is going to come. Koikfu will secure the kill, plus a double damage rune. That's it. He's level three, man. Yeah, he is. Th this has not worked He's out the lowest level in the game. All. Like, lower than all these supports. This offlane is one of the worst I've, I've ever seen. Black. See, oh, he throws up the Chrono. He might be in trouble. The Ray's coming through. Does hit on AUI. AUI is going to fall. PPD had the Battle Trance. They're going to go for the Chain Creeps now. Black TPs are actually Time Walks, I should say. Now going for the Boar Universe. If he can get this way for me, he might get the kill. Zeusel actually takes it from him. But still, Sumail getting involved. They get the experience. Pilot Eye, double Earth Spike. The Ray's hitting on PPD, not getting on Universe. PPD looks like he will fall to the right click of Koikfa. Turns into a two for one black, getting a bit greedy. Probably should have backed one Midas. So they're really trying to, I think, take this light. They know that they are in some trouble here. So Sumail's planning for later on down the road. Oh, they dodge the roar coming out as well. The axe is blowing up all the broodlings. The centaur stopped from AUI. They get a much needed kill for three of these heroes. And EG bounced back, getting the kill on Bulba, but. Uh, that's, that's like a 500 stone. That's like a 500 gold kill. And that'll keep them in front. They already have a 3,000 net worth lead, and they they know how fast the Troll Warlord can take down Roshan. If you're on the dire side and you have all division and that advantage, then you want to try to take this Rosh down as quickly as possible. And boy, do they! Necromastery, level two presence of the Dark Lord. Black has a mom. Meanwhile, Bubba gets an easy kill on PPD <laughs> with a God. Those spawn spiderlings just blow him the hell up. Jeez. That Dagon. All right. So I wondered if he was going to go Dagon or Necro and. Yeah. He answered it for us with that kill. That's got to feel like it's such a good feeling, too, when you get that Dagon last hit kill. Oh, it feels good, I bet. There's a stone on the Koikva. Ulti from Black. This four staff was already used from Samael. They're going to send it back. Samael's going to live. The finger. No, he's not going to live. The send back too long. He goes down. They get a big kill. That is a killing spree. But look at the Sensor Conqueror. The waveform. Can they get anybody here? They're turning it around. AUI is going to fall the Death Ward. Now Koikva pops the ultimate as well. Universe trying to live. Not going to make it out alive. Bubble right puts him down, and then Dagon's him to death as well. Three down, big chrono. I thought for sure Sumail was going to get sent back, but that delay so long at its first level. And they take three kills. They only lose one, and way to his death ward as well. Perfectly placed. Yeah, it was a really nice death ward. Um, I, I think that was a, an awkward spot for EG to fight. They didn't have the Beastmaster. They were already down one here. They're fighting against an Aegis. Universe of PBD have 7.25 seconds of single target stun. Hmm. Well, if you can't get a kill with that, then I don't know what you do. Well, that the the simple answer is at least against Universe to get BKB. It's not going to help you against the Roar, of course, but BKB in general, I gotta say, in general, is paramount against the Zeus in almost any situation. The damage that he outputs is more than almost any hero in the entire game. It's all consistent. It's all guaranteed with the ultimate. Bottom lane. Here we go. Oh, what a chrono. They catch two on the edge. They're going to blow up PPD. And that's the gem on the deck. Bots in from Sumail. And he's like, nope, I'm getting out of here. Force is out. And they even might up that poor boar. Got this kobold running around. But look, at he just outruns it. And we'll see when he actually gets outside the rear. He's actually outrun it now. I mean, does he really need it? With phase and an S and Y, he has 514 movement speed. I mean, it doesn't hurt, right? Like, I guess not. It doesn't hurt him from having it. Um, you could argue that if you could find a wolf, it'd be better, or even the Ice Arbor, the Ogre guy. They get the oh, stun away to you, but the Requiem is probably going to blow up. Nope, they cancel with the Lightning Bolt. Now the Death Ward coming out. They get a much needed kill on, on Koi for Waitsu might be next, but Sumail getting jumped on. The finger goes. Black helping to get the kill. Gets a couple of bashes off. Black stun for almost ever. Going to get roared up. There's that 7.25 second stun duration that Mob Pax was talking about. They get three big kills one by one. Team Tinker go to their deaths.
What? 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 What is happening? And now they're going to get the tier with tower as well. What? They really need BKBs. They need, even though you're up against the, the Beastmaster, yes, it could be thought as, um, you know, not very good against him. Pilot died actually is in some trouble. He gets the... Nope. Can't get the blink off. I think he's dead. Axes? Uh, no. No, PBD just like, clubs him down with the ogre, or with, with, with his axe. That's, uh, hey, at least he bought out. He does have his blink dagger. He is well, the point booster in 2k. He actually could just buy out a axe pretty soon. Wait he's probably dead. Sumail just runs at people, and he doesn't really give a damn what you think. He even Zeus ults to get the kill, and also get vision at the same time. And now he bots his mid, and he's gonna try to fight. They're gonna find Koifu here. They roar him up as well. There's 7.25 second stun duration. It is real. It is a thing. It is something you need to worry about. Universe is like, you guys can talk about me and how poorly I played or how poorly of a time I had in that offlane, but damn, am I doing work right now? And the answer is yes, he is. Blink Dagger is done for Universe. Yeah, what a turnaround. Th this is the thing, despite how... Get the adaptive strike off. They need PPD. They get the Zeus ult. They need the roar now. They're going to get it before he's able to time walk. They're going to get the kill. And he just bought that Aghanim. There's no buyback. He can't really contest Roche if they head over there now. What a ridiculous... Like, he is stunned for ages, forever. And they just get an easy kill. It's he PPD was. And uh, we didn't talk about this too much, but anytime you have a, a Chen on your team, bots are that much more effective because you can get sent back home and get instantly back in the fight. He actually replicates back into Black. He stuns him up. PPD can't get the roar, but they will take down Black easily. That is a, a decent trade. PPD is happy about that. No bash on the way to, unfortunately for Freer, but it is only 10%, and he didn't have the battle trance ready to go. Bulba's got a TP out as well. Oh, he should just Ags, try it. Refresher, 640, 1280. Yeah, he's, yeah, he most certainly can. Korkva is going to get chased down. Adaptive Strike. Ooh, it doesn't even, like, it doesn't matter, dude. The Adaptive Strike doesn't hit, but then Sumail just blows him up. Meanwhile, bottom lane, AUI 2000 is left alone. They sent back Fear. AUI is probably fine with being the Martyr in this situation. He bought another Flight Courier. <laughs> <laughs> what? AUI, as he died, he frantically <laughs> bought his next item and he bought a flying courier. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, 14 seconds. 14 seconds, we'll see if he can get this kill. Oh, he already got damage. Yeah, he's dead. Goodbye, Pilot Die. Goodbye, it was nice knowing you. One and two. <laughs> it's, uh... Pilot as well. I just don't know what to do anymore. Wait to use like, ah, oh, God, this point boost. But at least we got Dag at five. But yeah, there's that. The brood. This is yeah, a clowny just... game. The clown shoes are on, man. I don't know what else to say. It looked so good for Tinker, and then and then Morphling came online, I suppose, right? I mean, obviously, Samil doing a ton of damage. Fear taking some damage. Oh, he's stunned. Yep, no BKB, so you are dead black. You're just standing there. Contemplating life and what could have been. Bubba. Oh my god, they got the bash from fear. I heard it. I heard the bash. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? Are you serious? The tier three. Maybe even a Rax if they're not careful. This could be game actually approaching, honestly. Zeus has ultimate up. They have Aegis still on fear. God, he has a butterfly and he's still got two, two and a half gold, two and a thousand gold. Uh, wait till I think he's dead. Mm, maybe not. Fear didn't pop KB. KB. Highlight eye, and that's Earth Spike. Black's gonna come in. There's the Chronosphere on to three, almost on to four. Death Ward going through as well, but it's not Aghanims. It's not really doing any damage. Roar on the Koikva. Koikva actually gets roared up as well. He is in some trouble. Adapt to strike way too. He's sitting at the base of his well. They are diving so deep, and it looks like finally they get the kill on PBD. Koikva buys back. The Rax is exposed. Fear will take it down quickly. Sumail, that's a big kill if they can get it, and they will. Fear pops the BKB. Now there's going to be the Insatiable Hunger going out for Boba, but look at the damage. The bash is up as well, but he just goes in visit time. Fear trying his hardest to take down all of these heroes. AUI looking to send it back home. Fear should survive. The bots in. Sumail buys back, looking for a kill. Now there's going to be the Zeus ult coming out as well. Quick for surviving, just barely. The range racks still alive, sitting out about 253 HP. They will have to back up. Okay, well, the creeps are gonna go in. They're gonna try to take down the racks, and they're doing some damage here. There's no glyph. Are they gonna kill this? No, nah, I don't think so. Uh, it's taking permanent control. He's got something flying out to him. It's a full Daedalus. Okay. There's the BKB on Void. Too l little too late, though, I think. Yeah, I mean, when your that, that axes are getting killed, that's probably a little bit too late. Black's like, I, I want to jump in, but the, look, the positioning from Evil Geniuses is really really good Sumail is gonna get hexed up universe jumps in stuns up the void for a pretty long time 
And Black takes a, a Daedalus oh. Brock. There's the roar. So he chronos and just doesn't do anything. And Wei Tzu has yet to use his Death Ward. He's gonna... All right, it, it, it gets stunned immediately. He drops the Death Ward and the universe is like, Nope, you're adapted strike. They're gonna get a double kill for Sumail with the Zeus. So they get Boba as well with AUI receiving that last hit. And that is gonna be game. Evil Geniuses will take this series 2-0 in one of the craziest but most fun series I've witnessed. Good times. Yeah. It was actually a really fun game to watch, how, how it went back and forth, and... I'm happy to see EG win with this draft. It, would, it was a really fun draft. I, Despite him getting crushed in lane, I still really love the offlane morphling for the reasons we saw. It's not so much about how, what you can do in lane, it's about what you can do out of lane. And once you get that level 7 and have the, level, the 4 points into Adaptive Strike, it's really, really good. I think Team Tinker could have...